the frontside 50-50. For this trick, you ride with whatever object you're gonna grind in front of you, ollie up, grind with both of your trucks, and then come off. This is pretty much the easiest of all of the grinds, which makes it a great starting point if you don't have any experience with grinds. All you need to know before learning this trick is how to ollie, and it also helps if you know how to get into an axle stall on a curb. So the main parts to this trick are alling up onto the object, grinding across it with both of your trucks, and coming off at the end. The foot positioning for this trick is exactly like an ollie, and you can move your front foot up or down depending on the height of the object. So I just want to point out that I'm demonstrating this trick on a box, but you can learn them on any kind of curb or ledge or just anything that grinds. So the first part to get down is how to actually ollie up onto the object. The best way to practice this and to make sure you can actually get up on the object is to just practice while standing still and ollie up and onto the object into that 50-50 position. No matter what you're trying to grind on, you can just practice this on a curb just to get the feeling for it. The main thing to focus on is just to make sure you can actually get up on the object and then make sure you can maintain your balance while up on the curb. One thing you may want to practice just a little bit is how to ollie while actually making your board move forward in front of you, just because this can help you get your board up on top and balanced on the object. To do this, it's just like an ollie, except you're sort of moving forward with the board in a lateral motion. But when you actually start learning this trick while rolling, you don't really have to worry about this. And that's because when you're actually rolling at this trick, you'll be coming at a slight angle towards the object, so when you ollie, you'll naturally come up on top of it. So the next thing to focus on is the actual grind. And a quick note here, you may need to use some wax or a candle to make sure your trucks actually slide across the object. So an important thing to keep your eye on is the way that my trucks and wheels actually lock up against the side of the ledge. This is an important thing to make sure you're doing because it's actually the edge of your wheels that's gonna keep your board from sliding too far over on top of the box. By having your wheels locked in against the edge, it's gonna keep your board from sliding around and getting all weird. And also if you land too far towards the other edge of the trucks, the board can tend to fall out from underneath you. So basically when you ollie up into the grind, you wanna make sure your board isn't going too far over the ledge or too far towards the other side. And you just wanna make sure when you get on, your trucks just lock in against the side of your wheels. So as for the actual sliding part, this can feel a little bit weird if you've never done it before. So a way that you can get used to it is just by setting your board up on the side of the object, running and jumping on and sliding. This way you can get used to how slick the ledge is and you won't slip out or stick. So then once you can ollie up onto the object and you're comfortable with how it slides, you can put these two things together, ollie up, grind, and then just jump off. And the last thing about the actual grind part to remember is that when you actually ollie up, you wanna keep your weight sort of forward so you're up on top of the object and that way your weight will be balanced and it'll be easier to control. So get comfortable ollieing up and grinding a few times and remember you don't have to land yet. And then finally we'll move on to the last part which is actually coming off the ledge and landing. So there are actually a few ways to do this but I'm gonna show you what I think is the easiest which is just sliding off the end of an object. But remember if you're grinding on an object that doesn't have an edge like a curb, it's almost the same process except you have to pull out to the side. So to come out of the grind, it's actually really easy because it feels just like you're riding off of a curb. You just have to be comfortable doing that little thing where you lift up your nose when you come off of a curb. And you just want to do this so that when you get to the end, your nose doesn't dip down and you don't fall forward. So you just want to make sure that you time it right. And as you get towards the end of the ledge, you slightly press down on your tail to keep the board level and then you just slide off the end. And another thing to note is you don't want to go too slow or else you won't clear the edge of the object. So make sure you're at least going at a medium pace so you can clear the end and land cleanly. So if you've learned all these little steps of being able to ollie up onto the object, understanding where to lock your trucks in, getting comfortable with the feeling of the board grinding on the object, and understanding how to come off the end, then you should be able to put them all together into one fluid trick. Just remember to keep your weight balanced on top of the object and to go at a good amount of speed.
So remember that you can do these on curves or ledges or pretty much anything that grinds, and the techniques should be fairly similar. But like all of skateboarding, everyone has their own techniques and style, so just try and figure out what works best for you. So I hope that this helped you a little bit to understand this basic grind. Once you learn this, it opens up a whole new world of tricks that you can do, which can lead you to a lot more fun. So I'd like to thank my Patreon pledgers for allowing me to keep doing what I'm doing. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and you can like and subscribe if you want.